Another very important part of the Huroni Museum's arts collection is the uh, works by the Hallen family. And I say the Hallen family because when Reverend George Hallen emigrated uh, to Upper Canada, uh, he decided to do this about 1835 because he was being paid a mere 90 pounds a year and it really wasn't enough money to sustain his family. So he uh, became uh, involved with um, uh, a Royal Naval captain by the name of uh, Elm Steele, who had a very, very large farm in Madani Township in the 11th and 12th concessions. And um, he agreed to serve uh, with Steele for a couple of years as the rector of a church that Steele wanted to construct on his properties uh, at Purebrook uh, in Madani. And all of his children, the boys and the girls, were watercolor um, artists. The one that we have the most paintings from is Mary Hallen. Uh, we now have uh, about 35 original pieces, uh, some of which are on the wall behind me, and uh, they really reflect the very early life, the very early settler life of uh, this region of Huronia. Uh, in the 1840-1850 period. But there are a number of what I call historically significant paintings and they involve um, life and basically the social history of, of Purebrook and ultimately Penetanguishene and later Aurelia. And this is a period uh, where photography just doesn't exist. And so this family was painting in these lovely watercolors you know, in the 1830s, 1840s, and up into the 1850s. So it really is a wonderful um, artistic uh, representation of what life was like in Penetanguishene, in Medanti, in Aurelia, and uh, as, as such, they represent a very, very important regional collection. And uh, we're delighted to have uh, so many original, uh, Mary Hallen and uh, probably her sister Eleonora, as well as a couple of the boys. So we've been collecting, as I say, uh, Mary Hallens for many, many years, and the Hallen children in general, and uh, we think we've got a very excellent collection of Hallen works.